let's listen. Elvis to the Max, Max Pelicano here. Um, I'm an Elvis uh, tribute artist, Elvis impersonator, whatever you want to call it. But uh, yeah, it's kind of a funny thing. People always ask me, they, they say, how did, how did you get into this? And um, to tell you a little story, I was actually born in uh, Monte Carlo, France. And uh, when I was about two years old, we moved to Syracuse, New York, upstate New York. And uh, that's where I went to Catholic Go school. On. My father couldn't take the snow in upstate New York, so we ended up moving to California, where I attended high school. And uh, shortly after that, um, I went to the University of California, Cal State University. And um, all the way up until I started doing theater, I was a theater arts major. And I was in a production of Bye Bye Birdie. And that's kind of where it all started for me. It seems like everything I did in my life just seemed to lead me to Elvis. I can remember when I was living in, uh, in upstate New York in Syracuse. I, I was a kid. I was probably about eight years old. And my brother had bought Elvis's first Golden Hits album. And I must have played this thing over and over and over again. I fell in love with Hound Dog. And I'd go running around the house singing Hound Dog. And uh, that, that's basically where it first started with Elvis with me. And of course, seeing the movies, he had his movies on TV all the time so um, I got to see a lot of his movies. I went to high school in California and uh, I had done quite a few musicals and when I, I went to the University of California when I graduated um, I ended up doing a, a musical called Bye Bye Birdie, and I played the, the uh, character Conrad Birdie, which was like an Elvis type, and they, they had made a, a, a movie about that, and um, I think it was great was that I, I had a lot of success, and I had done a, a little theater production, and then later on I did another production of Bye Bye Birdie, and it kind of led me into, in, into doing it. I remember a, a producer in San Francisco saw me doing the show, um, and he said to me, he said, hey, would you like to go to Hawaii and do an Elvis show? This is after Elvis had done the Aloha from Hawaii concert. And so I said, yeah, I'd love to go to Hawaii. I didn't have a job at that time and I had no money. So it was kind of like, it was sounded pretty exciting. We went to Hawaii, he put a show together for me. Uh, I was at the International Marketplace and um, we were supposed to be there for a two week engagement and I ended up staying there two years. And then uh, when I came back stateside, I ended up, um, I was in a production uh, called Al Anthony Superstar Show in Palm Springs and I had met a, a character that, uh, he was a Kenny Rogers impersonator and him and I quickly became really good friends. And he said to me, he, he said, I, I, I've got a banquet center in Detroit. Would you like to come with me and put a show together? And I said, well, I've, I've got nothing scheduled right now. So we ended up coming to Detroit, put a show together. And uh, we had a show called um, uh, the, the Salute to the Superstars that did really, really well back in the late 80s and 90s. And um, then I traveled to Vegas and I did an audition at Legends in Concert and I got into that show and that lasted for about 12 years and started uh, traveling overseas. I was doing a lot of things in Australia, New Zealand and, uh, and that was my big break really um, when I was in Legends in Concert because it afforded me to be able to go overseas and do a lot of different shows. And, Around the uh, beginning of the 90s uh, I ended up going to Australia and uh, I had quite a bit of success over there. It was really fantastic. Uh, the people were wonderful. They loved Elvis over there. I actually ended up playing a place called Festival Hall, which is where the Beatles played when they came to Australia, and so I was really excited about that. For me, that was a you know, that was a real success for me. The 
wreck from the USA. There will only ever be one king. But the legend lives on with Max Pelicano in Elvis to the Max. Be mesmerized by his uncanny resemblance. Mackay Entertainment and Convention Center, Wednesday, April 17th. People can't help falling in love with Elvis to the Max. Anyways, I went over there and um, we built a fan club in Australia and, and I traveled all through the country. I remember on one tour I ended up doing about 96 shows in six months and uh, it was absolutely incredible. And uh, I'd been going to Australia for about 20 some odd years. So um, I really loved going over there. People were great. And we were in New Zealand. I did a lot of uh, Asia tours. And I was in Europe. I was in Germany for a while. So it was a lot of fun. I mean, I, I, I was really blessed to get into this business and, uh, you know, having, having the opportunity to travel and see the world. You know, after the COVID years here, uh, it's been pretty slow as far as performing and all that, but now it's starting to pick up again. And uh, what I want to do, I'm, I'm working on a couple of different projects. I'm actually putting my own show together. And um, I'm going to do tributes to, to a lot of the singers of the past, um, you know, like crooners. And uh, of course, my show is always going to end with the king of rock and roll because, you know, he's, he was basically my idol, you know, and I just think uh, that's the way to end the show is with Elvis. But um, I'm working on that, and uh, I'm working on writing a book on what all my years have been like being an Elvis impersonator and traveling the world. I got a lot of great stories and a lot of great pictures and so on and so forth, and um, so that's kind of exciting. And uh, I'm working on doing a, a European tour and uh, possibly going back to Australia again and uh, doing some shows as soon as everything opens up. And uh, I'm really looking forward to that. And of course, I want to do some shows here in Detroit, as always. Um, I always perform over at Andiamo's at the Celebrity Showroom. So that's always a, a lot of fun. Also, I, I'd like to thank the man on the street for coming over today and spending some time with me and going over my career. I really appreciate it. Jamie? You're beautiful, man. Don't have a shave. Trouble. Max Bellicardo. Voice I was born standing up and talking back. My daddy was a green Maybe 20 years ago since Elvis died, but for many fans, uh, he really hasn't left the building, helping us uh, keep the memory alive today. Please welcome America's king of impersonators, Max Pelicano and Elvis to the max. <laughs> Yeah.